Hey everyone, so we're going to try a little experiment here. And as you can see in front of you are 12 cards. Now what I've done here is I've put out 12 cards of different suits, but one of each number to go up to the Queen. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen. Now for this experiment, the Ace is going to be worth 1, and the Jack will be worth 11, and the Queen is going to be worth 12. What I'd like to do to start off with is just put your finger on any single, so come forward to the screen and put your finger against any card that you like. Just point at any card. That's going to be your starting position. You can literally start on any single card that you would like. So just point at any single card. Are you doing that now? Just pointing at a card? Perfect. I would like you to move left or right, up or down, for every single number on the card that you're pointing at. So if you're pointing at six, you would move six times, left or right, or up or down, but not diagonally, not like that. Okay, only left or right or up or down. So I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds, look at the number that you're pointing at, and move that number now. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds, just in case you're one of the higher numbers. Okay, I'm going to remove one of the cards. Hopefully, it's not going to be the card that you're pointing at. If it is, you're out of the game. I'm going to remove the Five of Clubs. Now, that's going to leave us with these cards here. So, I'd like to repeat the action again, but now using the number that you're now landed on. So, if you started off on the Nine and you're now on the Four, you're going to use the Four this time. If you started off on the Queen and you've ended up on the Ace, you're going to move once. So whatever card you're pointing at now is your new number, and I'd like you to move that many times. And again, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do that. Okay, I'm going to take away two cards this time, and I'm going to take away the seven and the jack. Okay. Now we're going to make it a little bit more different this time, and we're going to move some cards in a second. Before we do that, you're going to move again, but this time you're going to do it differently. If you're pointing at a red card, I would like you to move for each letter of the word red, which is three times. So R, E, D. If you're sitting on a black card, if you're pointing at a black card, then I'd like you to move five times, one for each letter of black, B, L, A, C, K. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do this, and I'd like you to move three if you're pointing at a red, or five if you're pointing at a black, and you can spell it out as well. Have you done that? Okay, I'm going to take away three cards this time. I'm going to take away the ten. I'm going to take away the four. And I'm going to take away the queen. And hopefully you're still pointing at a card that's on the mat. Now, obviously I'm trying to avoid the cards that you're pointing at. I'm trying to keep you in the game as long as I can here. Do you know what? I'm going to remove another one. I'm going to take away that six. I didn't like it over there. Get rid of that. Now that leaves us with these cards here. Hopefully you're still pointing at a number. I would like you to move that many times that is on the number on your card. So if you're pointing at a three, move three times. If you're pointing at the eight, move eight times and so on. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to do that. Up or down, left or right, but not diagonally. Hmm, let's get rid of this one over here. That leaves us with these cards here. Now I'm gonna remove one more card. And when I do that, that number is gonna signify how many times I would like you to move. Let me have a think here. So concentrate. At home, shout the number that you're sat on. Is that pointing to the card that you're at? Shout that number to me right now. Okay, I'm going to take away this one. And I'd like you to move once. So you're just going to move once this time. Okay, you should all be pointing at the card now. I don't think you chose the eight. Okay, there's just two cards left. Keep concentrating and send me through the screen. Tell me which card you're pointing to. If I get this right, I want you to leave a comment below. But I think... 
you're on the nine. Hello again. Okay, let's try this again. So we're going to do it again. We're going to go a bit quicker this time. As you can see, I've put the cards back out again. And we're going to do it again. So you don't have to choose the same card you chose last time. You don't have to start at the same position. But I want you to do it again. I want you to point to a card. If you have any card on there, just point to that card. And that is going to be our starting position. Now once again, um, you're going to move left or right, or up or down, but not diagonally. Okay? And we're going to get you moving around the board again. So starting on your number that you're on now, I would like you to move the number of the card that you're on. So if you're on a five, move five. If you're on a two, move twice. I'd like to do that now. Okay, you should now be on a new card and I'm gonna remove one of these cards. So concentrate on your number and I'm gonna take away the seven. Okay, and I'm gonna place it over here. Now we're gonna repeat that action again. So looking at the new number that you're on, I'd like to move that many times. The number of your card will tell you how many times you're going to move this time. Okay, I'm going to take away the jack. I don't think anyone landed on that one. And I'm going to take away the five. Okay. So once again, you're now on a new card. And what like we did before, we're going to use the colour to signify how many times you're going to move. So if you're on a red number, on a red card, you're going to move three times. And you're going to spell out R-E-D. And if you're on a black card, you're going to spell out B-L-A-C-K and move five times. And this will put you onto a new card. So I'd like to do that now. So if you're on a red card, move three times. And if you're on a black card, move five times. Now, you should all be on a new card. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds. And then I'm going to take away the queen, you should see, and I'm going to take away the eight, and I'm going to take away the six. Hmm. Now, where are we here? Think about the number that you're on. Think about the card you're on. Send me those thoughts. Let's lose this 10 as well. We don't need that. Now, looking at the card you're on now, I'd like you to use the number of that card to move that many times, like we did before. So if you're on the three, you're going to move three times. If you're on the one, you're going to move once. I'll give you a couple of seconds, but I'd like you to do that now. That's brilliant. Let's lose the nine. Hmm. Okay, so now we're back to this position. I'm going to remove one card. And this card will tell me how many times I want you to move. So if I move the four, you'll move four times. If I move the three, you'll move three times. Two, you'll move twice, and eight, you'll move once. So the amount of times I would like you to move is three. I'd like you to move three times. That leaves us with these three cards here. Now you're pointing to one card. You're just pointing at one card. I'm going to remove the two. And I want you to concentrate on that last card. Concentrate on the card you're on now. Concentrate. And once again, if I get it right, Leave a comment below, but I'm going to take away the four, leaving you with the ace and hopefully me with a cheer and a thunderous round of applause.